the benefits there are just that we can do full home backup. We can power, uh, you know, we can turn on a, a five ton AC, your well pump, your pool pump. I think uh, I think the space is developing so quickly that. So what's the largest installation that you all have out in the field now? Is that something you can share? Yeah, totally. One of them is we powered an entire island in the Bahamas. Um, and I think we had around 300 kilowatt hours. Hey guys, welcome back to the Solar Surge podcast. I have another special guest for you this afternoon. Spencer Christensen is the founder and a director at Lithion Battery, and uh, I guess one of the original designers of the home grid battery system, right? Yeah, thanks for having me on, super exciting. Yeah, well, I'm really looking forward to this interview. Um, Spencer, it was an interesting kind of how we, you and I first got connected. Um, I can't remember who introduced me to your product, but once I saw it, I was like, wow, this is a really interesting battery. Um, I need to do, you know, a, a review on this. And so I had put a video out on our YouTube channel, and I guess you had seen it or your team had seen it and you'd, you'd reached out. Um, so tell me a little bit from, from your side, how did you first get connected with Solar Surge? And um, t tell me a little bit about, about your story. Yeah, absolutely. So we started Home Grid uh, a little over two years ago, and we we had an idea of what we wanted to do. Um, we wanted to be a battery that could do full home backup. We felt like that was the next phase, the next wave of battery tech. And so um, there was a couple of us at the beginning and uh, hopped on YouTube and started doing a bunch of research. I just wanted to see the lay of the land. Um, and I found your videos and it was fantastic content, it really gave me a reference of, of, you know, what had happened and a projection of what, you know, customers were wanting. And using that information, um, we went to work and, you know, found the solution that we felt like was the best for um, a number of reasons and then went to market. And it's been, you know, a, a wild adventure uh, since then. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm flattered and honored that, you know, my opinions on some of the different battery products was it was an influence on you and kind of how you chose to design your product. And we'll, we'll talk more about the product in a little bit. But I'm just curious, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you um, how did you get into business? Why did you decide to be an entrepreneur and why why in the renewable energy space? Uh, that's a great question. So um, a couple of years ago, I mean, it was during the height of covid. Uh, I had been trying to start a couple of other little businesses. I really wanted to get in. Um, and start my own company. And uh, I met an engineer that had been in the battery space for about uh, 25 years. And he gave me he gave me an overview of the battery market, um, how Sonin over in Germany had done a fantastic job. And then Tesla was kind of mapping it out over here in the US. And he had some great connections. And we sat down and, you know, I had a, a pretty uh, extensive background in sales and business development and uh, I was like, let's let's do this. I want to go big on this. I think we have a great solution. And we went to work. My dad was actually the investor. Um, it was definitely a garage startup a couple years ago. A um, lot of 80 hour weeks. We went down to California and um, just lived out of Airbnbs and just started meeting all the solar companies. I went to Hawaii and rode a moped around all the islands for a month. <laughs> Um, just meeting with everybody, really trying to make sure we, we had it dialed as far as you know, what we were going after and what was going on. And so that was kind of the, the initial stage. We were acquired shortly after by Lithion, uh, which is a fantastic battery company. Um, they do batteries for the Railgun and Boston Dynamics robots, Disney rides. And, you know, being incorporated into that company has allowed us to expand. And you know, we're now in all 50 states and Europe and South America and, and growing quickly. That's awesome. It sounds like quite an adventure, but I, I think you skipped over some parts here. So, and, I, and I, I'm just trying to better understand myself. So, so how does somebody go from having an idea to, to start up a, a solar or a battery company? How do you actually go from that to actually having a battery product that, that can be acquired by a larger company? I mean, what, 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 what does that look like? I think, uh, I think the space is developing so quickly that groups want to get in. And I think Lithion saw um, that we had a fantastic idea, fantastic team and product, and we were, we were going to market quickly um, and they wanted to partner with us at a deeper level. Um, 
to be in this space, it requires significant funding. Um, and so we wanted to tie ourselves to the right group. Um, we had, uh, my partner, Stu Graham, had been working in the background with a, a contracted manufacturer um, to refine the engineering. And, and so um, it, what they say is like, it happened slowly, then all at once, right? It was, it was a lot of, uh, lot of prep work. And then all of a sudden, once we had everything lined up, the certifications, um, it took off pretty quickly. That's cool. That's cool. So basically, so basically, you all put the design together. You were able to find a manufacturer to help produce the units for you. They did a lot of the, frankly, though, they did a lot of the engineering with us. Um, we did, refined it with them. Um, but our contract and manufacturer over in China has been a fantastic resource uh, for a lot of the engineering, engineering support. Um, and then we just wanted to make sure we catered it towards the U.S. market. So adjustments like when the Solark 15K was coming out, we wanted to adjust it so it could have the same surge. Um, that 15 kilowatt continuous and 24 kilowatt surge. Um, we wanted to, we, we needed to adjust certain things in the BMS. So, and I think that was actually probably the first thing that got my attention. So for those of you that follow me closely, you know, I have a solar arc system in my home. I don't have the, the, the 15K. I actually have the much smaller, the 5K single phase. Okay. Um, but the solar arc 15K and I think it, I, what, I, what caught my attention was this is the only battery that will allow the solar arc to run at max power with no solar, with it all coming from the battery, right? Yep, yeah, so the solar for battery is 12 kilowatt continuous on the 15K, and then a 24 kilowatt surge, um, which uh, almost pairs up exactly with our battery. So yeah, we, the benefits there are just that we can do full home backup, we can power, uh, you know, we can turn on a, a five ton AC, your well pump, your pool pump, and I think that's what most homeowners want. If you're going to invest 15 to $20,000, and you know it only can power your fridge and lights. It's semi frustrating. But if you're your own power plant, your own microgrid, and you're not relying on the grid, um, if they raise the rates, you don't care because you're grid independent. Um, if the power shuts off and your lights don't flicker, and you know your jacuzzi still runs, it's pretty exciting. Well, you know, I'm sure some of the folks that are watching this are going to be, you know, in the solar industry. Um, what would you tell to a company like Solar Edge, for example, that has, you know, very very good market share? Um, why should they consider your battery compared to some of the other options that are that are on the market right now? Now, that's a great question. Um, I think a lot of salesmen have gone out and inflated what batteries can do and disappointed a lot of homeowners. They'll tell them, hey, this can power your entire home, but it can't. Um, whereas our battery can truly do full home backup. We can do your whole main panel. Um, we can do your ACs, you know, your five ton AC, and so I would say the value proposition for homeowners, especially with, when you're looking at NEM3, where the battery attachment right here in California is, is spiking, um, a lot of those homeowners really want a battery that can power the entire home. And so I would say um, for the installers that are using SolarEdge, um, I think that uh, you know, integrating the system into that, that full ecosystem is going to be a fantastic pairing. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with, with the audience? I would say a couple of uh, points to mention is we have really great availability. Uh, we're warehousing in uh, Las Vegas in Henderson. Uh, so our lead times are under one week right now. We have uh, thousands of systems there. We have great tech support. Um, we have now gotten to the point as a company uh, where we've worked out all the bugs in our system and we have, you know, a Wi-Fi dongle built into the BMS for firmware updates. We have an app coming out um, and we are shifting over the assembly and then eventually the manufacturing uh, over to the U.S. So the assembly should be here in the next six months. So that's exciting. Um, and, you know, we, we do plan on, I think, one complaint of the solar market has been there have been a lot of fly-by-night companies. And we plan on establishing ourselves as one of the key players in the long run. Yeah. Well, I, I can definitely say that. I, I've, I've, I've walked the, the, the floor here at the expo. I can see that there are some batteries that have just kind of popped up out of nowhere with, with maybe an established brand slapped on the, the casing. But I can tell that, well, this battery, that one may not be here, you know, a year or two from now. Your product is different. I can tell it's, it's a truly unique design. It does appear that how you have come into the market and now, of course, with the backing of all of Lithium, 
that uh, yours is one of the products that's here to stay. We're going to be really excited to follow this and see where it goes. Yeah, thank you. And truly, thank you for your content. It, it helped out significantly at the beginning. Um, I, you see the number, I'm sure, and I'm sure you have a lot of people that talk to you. Um, you know, the number of views, you see that, but there are, uh, there are a lot of us that really admire what you've done, and we really appreciate it. Well, th thanks for the support. Uh, and it is kind of cool for me to, to, to come to an event like this and, and meet people that, you know, kind of feel like they know me a little bit because maybe they've seen me talking on the screen about different products. But, you know, again, folks, why we're here is because we know that many of you out there are interested in this space, but maybe you can't come out here and, and do all this yourself. So as I'm learning about these new products and these new technologies and, you know, new industry players like Spencer, um, I'm just kind of bringing you all along for the ride with me. So I, I do thank you all for tuning in and spending time with us uh, all these times. And uh, Spencer, thanks for, for coming on and uh, sharing your story with us. Thank you.